Hello once again ladies and gents, I hope you all are having an amazing beautiful day and in this video I want to take a look at one specific perk for all of you bow users out there that might be extremely interesting starting next season which is pretty much next week. And we're also going to take a look at the high impact frame pulse rifles and the changes that are coming to it next season and I feel like this archetype can easily become meta and there is one pulse rifle that is an absolute beast so we're also going to take a look Look at that i'm pretty sure we all know what i'm talking about i mean the redrix's claymore or the redrix's broadsword whatever you want to call it doesn't change the fact that it's a beast now i'm going to go ahead and read the changes we're talking about and then i'm going to show you guys some of the bows i have some of the bows you can get maybe you already have them and we're also going to take a look at the pulse rifle so the perk i'm talking about is right here sneak bow now we've had this perk on bows since the beginning and to be honest it never kind of made sense it didn't never do much at all but right now they're changing it so sneak bow actually makes you sneaky now stealth buff now does doesn't ping radar when shooting now this is going to be very interesting we don't exactly know how this is going to work when shooting so what does that exactly mean does it mean that when it's the arrow is fully drawn at that moment until you shoot it's going to keep you off the radar if that's going to be true oath keepers is going to make some of these bows absolutely amazing imagine a scenario where you're trying to flank a team especially you're playing with a bow which means that after every hit they're going to be left with very low hp and they are very easy to clean up for your teammates they can just kill them without any issues you can just flank them not get pinned on the radar that sounds really really nice but we'll see how that goes we'll have to test this perk out when it comes out the other one i want to talk about is this buff right here and this is for the high impact pulse rifles so let's take a look high impact pulse rifle damage per bullet from 21 to 22 this changes it from six crits to five crits and one body to kill a guardian in pvp at most resilience values now this is very very cool because there are quite a few pulse rifles and especially one that is an absolute monster. Now I'm gonna show you a few bows that I have and I'll tell you how you can get them and then I'll show you the pulse rifle I'm talking about. Okay, so the first bow I'm gonna show you guys is this one right here, the Tyranny of Heaven. This comes from the raid, the Last Wish raid. And honestly, I love this bow. The way it feels, the way it looks, I like the sight on it. In general, it feels really clean. And if you get a masterworked version of this from the raid, which I did, it comes with Sneak Bow and Dragonfly. Now, Dragonfly isn't really that great of a perk for PvP, but I gotta say, sometimes it really comes in handy and does some extra damage to the enemies around the guy you killed. But sneak bow is what i want from this however keep in mind though these bows are lightweights which means that it doesn't do as much damage for me personally i still really enjoy using this bow i do have a quick access link on this one also just to swap to other weapons extremely fast so this is one of the bows i'm gonna be trying next season however there is one more bow that is one of the best legendary bows in the game in my opinion and that is subtle calamity and you can get this with snapshot sights and sneak bow now that will be insane i don't have that role right now i do have a pretty cool role though i gotta say snapshot sights and explosive head is pretty fun but it is possible to get it with sneak bow and if that perk is what i expect it to be next season that should be really powerful and also this one is the precision frame as you can see right here it does more damage and the accuracy is way better in general so yes if you do have subtle calamity with sneak bow instead of this one it's an amazing choice but for me i only have this one and another bow with sneak bow for now so i'll have to use these there is one more you can get with sneak bow in case you don't want to do the raid and that one comes from the forges now this one has sneak bow and rampage i have to farm way more to get the role i want i'm gonna try to get sneak bow and maybe quick draw or snapshot sites i don't know which one goes into that second one second slot but yeah that's what i'm gonna try to get and if sneak bow is anything i'm imagining it to be this could be really really cool and it could open up so many new ways to play with a bow especially on your hunter where you can just dodge around like a madman go invisible and not being seen on the radar 
that will be sick. So we'll have to wait and see. And I hope it won't let us down. And I hope the changes to this perk will be really cool. And now the pulse rifle I was talking about, of course, is Redrick's broadsword. There's another version of this, Redrick's Claymore. I have that one. It was extremely hard to get back in the day, but this one is way easier to get. You can pick up the quest from Shax, I believe. Right now I have high caliber rounds, which I really like for that extra stagger. And I have a range masterwork and it's pretty good. So I'm not gonna chase any more of these. I feel like this one is more than enough. And then you have Outlaw and the main perk on this is Desperado. Reloading while Outlaw is active increases your rate of fire. So let's get this straight, okay? Once Desperado is active, guys, you're gonna melt everyone and everything. And the kill time on this is insane. It's 0.47, which is crazy with this perk up. And even without the perk, it's around 0.7, which is also amazing. The problem with these pulse rifles was it was extremely hard to get two burst kills, right? And now that they're buffing it, it's gonna be way more consistent. And I have a feeling we're gonna see way more of these pulse rifles in the Crucible. As mentioned, pretty much, when you get a kill and you reload while your outlaw perk is active, your high impact frame pulse rifle is gonna start shooting way faster than it's supposed to, right? So you're gonna be doing the same amount of damage, but it's just gonna take you less time, which is crazy. So if you have bows with sneak bow, or if you don't have broadsword right now, pick up the quest, start working on it, because I feel like next season we're gonna need these. Also, if you have any other pulse rifles that are 340 rounds per minute, keep those especially if you have them with good perks. Changes are on the way, ladies and gents, and the meta might be completely different next week. So yeah, just save all the good stuff, okay? If you wanna support the channel, a like and a sub is very appreciated, guys. Thank you once again for all the support. I appreciate every single one of you, and as always, have a crazy, beautiful day.